to discover with the domestic discipline it's got to be consensual so it's all on her she has the authority <laughs> no 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 I don't know about authority. She has, she has the option and choice, but not the authority. Go, yeah. go ahead, Mike. What were we going to say? We've been using the wrong words all over this motherfucker. I'm confused as shit in the chat. I had to come up here. That's fine. All right. Authority. She don't got authority. She has the no. right to choose. That's what that means. Right to choose is not authority. Okay, so if the man, wait, if the man, if the man doesn't have authority, right? Who is uh, hello, no, everybody. he did not. No. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If the man, because mm -hmm. we all said in order for submission, or not, we didn't all say this, but Q asked the question, is is authority key to submission? But if we keep exploring this quote-unquote authority that men have and have no way to enact it, what yeah. authority do we actually have? I think, I think authority is foundational to submission, but I think submission is natural. So it, it's a consent thing. Once someone consents to follow you, they are giving you the authority over them. They have the right to choose or not. That freedom of choice is the willful type of submission. That's why when y'all were talking, I say like, submission is natural. Anything that is forced submission is now servitude. So that's why I wanted to switch the word over to servitude. If you got to force a woman, to, you know, cartel style to follow your ass around. Yeah, that's servitude. Submission is natural. We shouldn't be talking about it like it's something that. You got a force, you know. Somebody said a man. No, trigger, trigger. Yeah, the conversation led from: Do you need authority in order to get submission? That's what yeah, the conversation. You, you gain yeah. authority from submission. You gain it. That, that but that's why she I has the right to question. choose. To give you. She has the right to choose whether she Q. wants to submit to authority or not. Q, you, I know, I saw beyond the glasses. You hear this? How does yeah. you? We don't have any authority. <laughs> no, we, we really do. It's just um, when you when you go deeper into that conversation, that's another topic because now you're talking about relationship dynamics. You're talking about individual dynamics. It depends on who you're dealing with. That's a whole nother conversation, man. So Everybody, just, just to be I'm clear, gonna, the woman the answer. woman the woman gives you the authority. Just no. to be clear, no. no. No, that's the not yes. don't give you the authority. Yes, no. yes. The I, woman that in here in Q. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you start. You know you can start. You, Q no, knows no. what she's doing. No. Which is like, Aaron, you right. Aaron, you right. The woman gives the man the authority. Day day one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm asking um Callie or Q on on a date, or and they say yes. Well, you know, yeah. hypothetically, just roll with me. I know y'all married or whatever. She gives me the authority day zero when we meet in person. Her expectations of me is if stuff goes sideways day zero, that I'm going to be in her corner protecting her from whatever pops off day zero. No, like maybe we know each other's names. We've talked, we vetted each other. And now we're on the date day zero. She's at least her minimum expectations of her from me is that I, while we are in company, I am her man, quote unquote. Not in a relationship uh, aspect, but I'm her, her protector and I'm her provider. I'm to provide her with a good time, date, good company, laughs, whatever. And if stuff goes sideways, she is she does not need to ask me to jump in to protect her. She does not need to ask me for that. She's to expect that day zero. But but so that's the authority I have over her. It's her protection. You can Let me rescind. say this. I got like Jastic said, you can rescind authority, like the submission at any time. So you like, I submit, yeah. I don't submit. Five seconds later. That's what Mr. Fantastic said. At any time, yeah. they can rescind the submission. That's what he said. That's authority, bro. Like so, so th this is the only part of the words that I got a problem with. Women cannot give authority to a man. Y'all can oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. A woman can... A man, a woman can validate the authority that a man has. If we see a bunch of women following a dude, we probably think he's that dude. He's an authoritative man. They but can they validate the authority that that man has, but they don't. He's that man, whether they are there or not. Whether a bunch of women are following him, if he has the capability to be authoritative, whether the women following him or not, 
he's still authoritative. Somebody's going to jump on that bandwagon. They can you validate that. that you're in this. Can't give him this is crazy. That's 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 <laughs> not true. Because like if Le- LeBron James, where do you get the authority of, from? No, of, no, no. Where do you nah, get nah, the authority on, let from? Me explain, let he me just said something. you walk around. If you walk around, you got the authority. Where did it come from? The women, and then when they leave, then you're gonna still say I have the authority, but no one to enforce it on. And even when you do have quote unquote someone to enforce it on, you can't enforce it because it's illegal by the society standards. You have no authority. This is freaking crazy. Authority is uh both responsibility um and a privilege, though. What does that, that have to do with perception and respect? So when we're talking so when we're talking about authority, I mean think about it. When you're in a think about the multiple environments you submit yourself to an authority every day, besides it's work or school, or even in a home if you live with a parent. You submit to their authority. No, no, God didn't make them your authority. You don't. You you can you can choose to disrespect them every single day you wake up in the morning, but you don't. You respect and you acknowledge their authority over you as their uh, child. But if we're talking about a relationship, which is why they kept telling us stop moving to other topics. Okay, we have no authority. You, what if, is it if, you think that we? How, how, how like if I'm a drunk driver right go now, ahead. Go and ahead, I go, go hit ahead. something. And the you're, taking it out of, you're taking it out of a relationship, but I'm but I'm saying that I don't give the cops authority. No, no. but you're gonna Mike answer this question. Your woman is submissive to you. How do you enforce submission? You don't. You don't enforce. You don't. That that Nat CQ, you almost laughed there because you see this ridiculous. <laughs> I, I read micro expressions. Okay, I know. That's why I look her in the eyes. Q know what's going on. She she see us. Yeah. I hate when Q see us and she do that stupid shit she's doing now with that laugh giggle thing. She do that. I know, I know. And, I know. and see, Hampton clocked out because he's usually is super look. He like, you know what? I can't do this no more. He he don't know exactly. Once he walked away, he like, I don't know where we at. Yeah, I, I, to get, so, so what like, is what is the, what is the uh, synopsis here that women give us authority and we and we're actually submitting to them? What is the yes. synopsis? Yes, that is your words, and I will use those exact words that you just said. You get authority authority through submission. Because you can't get it any other way. It has to be an agreeing party, which is why, which is why me and Aaron's point from the very beginning was it's not about authority. You get submission based off of agreement. And if she disagrees, there's no way to enact any authority because it's illegal in this current state. So and you she can rescind said and authority she, whenever she decides. Whenever she decides to, whenever she decides, I'm not doing this no doing? more. I can't go. Yes, you are. Because then now the cops get called. He's trying to do something to me. I have no authority. Damn. So, so you saying it, since we can't um, apply, get down the lay down, we have no authority. Yes, because if the mm. only person, if the only person that can apply it and it be strengthened and 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 uh and agreed upon by a system is her, then who actually has the authority? It's not me. It's her. Okay. I'm but, only hoping and praying she agrees. I mean, but I'm I think, she about, yeah, I think you're talking about willful. Submission, you're absolutely correct. No, we're, we're not doing this. No, trigger Mike. No, no Come more. Now. That's what we're doing. No, I want to now, hear this. I don't want to hear this right now. So, no. so then, so then I would have to side with smoke and saying what you display, who you are, is how you get the best outcomes, right? But it's not be consistent. Yes, no, yes, I understand. he's saying be consistent, leadership qualities, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then women say they make a decision in their head to say, Okay, I'm gonna follow this man. But it has to do with the the le- the um what is it what's one I'm looking for like the level of man or, or you know your your qualities your your qualities that you display, and she makes a decision. Does does right. does, does submitting from the man first to what the woman requires you to show her, then you ultimately get the submission from her. Does she require submitting you? You submit to her will and what she requires in order for her to listen to you and allow you to be in charge. Does your submission come first? Uh n- no, Aaron. No, <laughs> no, no, no. My authority because, comes no. first. Here's the thing. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's a problem. People be changing to get with a woman because they have the authority. No, because here's the thing. Well, no, I'm not cheeky. I said people they, change. They have, yeah, yeah. But I think they think they have to change. I think that's where we can have the the, the discourse. But but okay. But what I'm saying is help. You yes, do sir. have to change because we already agree from a stand from from just a biological male standpoint, men want sex and they're not willing to get rid of that desire or even tame it because that's just what men do. 
So off rip, if you have you have to submit to her, because if you want sex, guess what your ass gonna be doing? What she say? What? That's not what? really how that works. Oh, That's okay. not really how that works. Wow, bro. You think wait, wait, you think niggas is 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 acquiescing to their women to get some pussy? I, it, I think it, I, it's, 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 yo, y'all wallet, y'all wallet. Is that what these guys are Hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Keep under the thirteen rules. These niggas not standing on shit. You know it. So cheeky, this is what's happening in your in your generation now. It's like. Is this a, is I'm this saying this? now these niggas have been ran by vagina and I and it's always if you, been it's always been my frustration. Black Dragon, if you think about it, the young niggas ain't they just said fuck them bitches. Thank you. But it's the, the old niggas who was happy wife, happy life in it. Now that he say this shit out loud. Hold on, let me catch up on these damn super chats. Damn, <laughs> come on, man. Work with me. Well, you know, I gotta ask, why you, oh you know I gotta ask the right questions. Hopefully we can get some understanding, but this shit is crazy, man. Trigger Mike is your fault. The dating pool with the two dollars says she gives the authority. GBG now, now, now cheeky. Now here cheeky and Aaron. Here's where we have an issue. If heathen queen is agreeing with you, you gotta reassess your argument. <laughs> no, we make everybody come on to the job. We make everybody <laughs> I know we make them come on to the side no. of life. The no. day in pool with the two dollars says, No, your authority comes from her submitting first. RNC with the five dollars says, Boss baby should stay single, plan to work until your 80s. By the way, by by the way, social security is, is to be cut by 30% in 2034. Christopher J with the two dollars says, Typo, Ephesians 5 and 21. My bad, read 21 33 for context. All right, so this stuff bothers me if I don't clarify it because it's for a greater good. So let me just show y'all something real quick on this. Give me a second. I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not going to belabor it. I'm just going to break it down real quick. Let me see. Hold on, let me put the thing in. All right, real quick, real quick. All right, let me use the NLT. That'll help. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick. No, ham. That's a, that's a lame ass translate. That... I know, but it, it it breaks it down to where it, it where it uses the word submission right then and there. So, all right, I'll use the case. All right, I got you. I got you. Do you I get it. Yeah, I get it. Go ahead, bro. I got you. Yeah, my just feeling layman. But but yeah. All right, hold on. Hold on, real quick. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. All right, so this real quick all right so yeah the cheeky is right this is a lame version i really don't like it right it actually makes a mistake here uh they see the high headline spirit got a relationship with wives and husbands right but verse 21 actually goes up here right with the power of the spirit etc but when it breaks down these the word um submission for wives this means submit to your husbands as as to the lord Right for the for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior in, of his body and the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives should submit to your husbands and everything. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He and he gave up his life for it to make her holy, clean, washed, and cleansing of the God word. He did this to present himself as a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Right. <clears throat> so it says, love your wife as you love yourself. But submission is clearly here for the wife only. I know some people misconstrue this, so I just want to clarify for people who are trying to get more understanding. That's all. Not not trying to call out my brother Christopher, but he brought it up. So just to clarify for you guys, submission is particularly for the wife. But you love your wife as you love yourself, and you do everything to protect her. That's all. Um. All right. So who 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 was I arguing with? Aaron? <laughs> no. So you he no, was coming to the know. realization. Oh, I, oh, I had to realize. Oh, I was arguing with Trigger. I was mad at Trigger Mike. Okay, yeah, Trigger yeah, Mike. I forgot. Yeah. I was still mad at you. Kasim, say something to this nigga, man. <laughs> now, let me let me ask y'all because <laughs> I came in, I came in not knowing what context we were using, and I usually come from a nature type context. So and I'm just sitting here working it out. So y'all y'all know my stance is that submission is natural. But within this social construct that we created, y'all are right. Cheeky's right and Aaron is right within the social construct. But submission is natural because can women live without men? 
Meaning, can they live, stay alive without men? No, they can't. So they naturally submit with, the, with outside of this social construct. They will submit to the authority of the people that can keep them alive. We created jobs for them. We created all this shit. So, yes, in this social construct, they can give authority and submit and not submit. And they have a choice. But outside of it, they cannot. That's why I say naturally women living on their own is unnatural because we created all the ways and means for them to do so. The post post apocalyptic world drop one bomb. We going back to natural submission. Well, you want to live? Clear. Follow me. Period. Men ain't never men. Men don't live alone either. We ain't never lived alone. We don't have a reason to live without them, but we would survive without them. Well, you you That's can't prove I'm that. Oh, we would. No, but I, would. I, you you can make an argument. You can't prove it. we never live without women. And and uh, first of and we've protected ourselves and them throughout history, so we would be able to live you on can our prove own. That part, yeah. Mm -hmm. now, I could run a lot faster if I didn't have to carry my wife and kids. Uh, Trigger uh, mic. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yeah. 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 You said you said that uh women uh validate uh men's authority. In in the social construct, yes, yes. At did he freeze? He was about to say he's about to yeah, say I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think he froze. Look what it say. I think he got. He think he got you too. Leaning back into it. 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 Leaning back into the validation authority, I understand that uh, Trigger Mike initially said women, but it's the truth that the pe if people follow you, that just validates your authority? Or do it yeah. be certain people yeah. from certain places? So, so, certain so, yes. so look, at, look at social media, though. A nigga with a million followers, you're going to follow two more than a nigga with 300 who call himself a guru. You're going to be like, what? The, the followers validate the authority mm -hmm. of somebody. Yeah. But I think, honestly, at, at the end of the day, like in the dynamic... In the relationship, I think women don't have a, a too much of a big of an issue as far as who is the quote unquote leader, as long as the person that's making the decisions is making the right decisions and they benefit from it. They're not going to cause too much of a too much drama about who's actually like the leader. Hmm. So, what really? kind of drama can they cause? Shit. <laughs> what kind of drama? Do <laughs> what John, kind of drama can they cause? Yeah, because you said as long as they are proven and agreeing, they got their checkbook. Okay, you lead and write. Yeah, that's a smart decision. If you make a dumb one, uh, it's drama time. I'm interested in knowing what type of drama can they bring. I mean, that's that goes to the context of that could be that could be anything, right? She has a certain criteria and and certain things that she's looking for you to do. Requires you use the word require, right? Yes, right, require when it comes to provision, you know, protection, problem solving, and all the rest of that. And a good man or a good leader would actually have a strong grip of what those criteria are, and the way that he moves, he's hitting those, he's hitting those criteria, right? So, for example, it could be, you know, if he's continuously making bad decisions when it comes to the finances. Like every time he's, he's he's paying the bills late or or something's not right, so now some, there's a disruption in the harmony, right? He used to make good decisions, but now he's not. She can make a big beef about that. She rescinds her submission. submission. Got you, because that's what fantastic. Yes, rescind. Okay, I got you. Damn. Okay, All right, let you. me now, Drog. It sounds like you had some heat for trick. Hey, Drog, miss you. Shoot me an email too. I will put it in the back chat. Um. Look like you had some smoke for uh trigger Mike, but then you froze and all that. Yeah. This, this 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 is my African brother. But we have to go one. <laughs> I have to handle this. <laughs> Can't be talking like this nonsense. But he was saying that uh, he was saying that uh, women uh validate men's authority. Like name one man that that uh that women that women validate that uh that men say, all right, I'm gonna follow him. Just name one. Can't hear you. 
Yeah, you're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. It's going to pay me to say this, but uh, Kevin Samuels. No, nah, it's not because of women. Nah, it was men, men didn't that... know who he was to the women. Start nah. following him. No. Nah. I love a... Kevin that's... Samuels, but nah. that's the biggest one I could come off with off the head, man. Yeah, but, but what I said is most likely it's women, it's, it's men that actually validate men that women follows. So, mm -hmm. like, let's say, like, LeBron James. A lot of women like LeBron James because of because of uh because men think that he's at this level. Yeah. So when you said that, that's why I had a little issue with what you said. You know what? I'm gonna actually agree with you because what you're talking about is like trends and culture, in fact. Yeah. Men are the ones who establish culture. Yep. I think in the guy in the gynocratic society, if we're talking about popular culture. That's why we have these waves and trends that people can follow that women validate. Like in the social media style culture, all of this popularity is essentially fake. People, it's unearned, right? So you yeah. can pay for it. So it, yeah. it, 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 if we're talking about an established, something that is grassroots, men create all trends or validate all trends. It wouldn't be a trend if a man didn't create it because everything that men create is considered unisex, meaning women can jump on it. And if a woman created it, men don't bother. So, yeah, I, I agree with you that men actually validate the authority of other men on the on the primal level and in, in the grassroots level. But I think we have created a synthetic universe in which women can influence culture as well. Yeah, that's that's social media and those other stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put me in the box, Sam. Wait, 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 no. One second. One second, who, you one second, who you want in the box? One second, Ham. I, I got a problem with Trigger Mike. Just put, uh -oh. put us in the box. It, it's very hard. Uh -oh. Here we go. Put us in the box. I'm sitting here trying to do notes. Let me. No, no, attention. I don't want to hear nothing about the notes. You talk about this validation. <laughs> I want to know why is there a sign behind you that says number one dad? Who validated that? My mother-in-law. All, mother -in -law. all <laughs> these dads in this world, you mentioned LeBrons and all these other men. Who validated that number one dad sign behind you, sir? My mother-in-law and my wife. Nigga, it sounds like you submitted to your mother in law. Your you wife. know what? Get the fuck out of here. You off with that. Put him in the put shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit Take like me out of this goddamn box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> actually, I am the number one dad. Uh, yeah. let, me, let me just say something. He's Trigger Mike is actually right to be the number one dad because, like, Trigger Mike, your, your kids, <clears throat> is there another dad? I'm say that again. Your kids, is there another dad? No. Hell no. So you're the number one dad. So how does that not make uh -huh. sense? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, man. Technically. Oh. Keep, him on, show, keep, keep that, him on the show, bro. Keep him on the show. This guy is going, man. Oh, man. <laughs> He's not doing this relationship wow. right here. Uh, no. I, I don't know. Hold on. Let me catch up real on. quick. Did I read this one? I read this one. I got you, Chief. Um, the day in pool with the two thousand facts, cheeky facts, cheeky. Finally, they get it. Again, be very careful. This validation of women, don't, 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 don't. be careful. Uh, Clement Gray with the follow says, women's submission is based off how they see you at the moment. You can be a good leader, but if they don't follow, hell, they don't follow Jesus. Who are you? Convoluted and misinformed with Harambe Jack with the ten ounces. says. Pound the peanut butter snatcher is real. Stay aware. Mm. Oh, <laughs> insider convoluted and misinformed with Harambe Jack with the honey ball. What do you say? Other outside is human. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. Oh. She want to run the street. So let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be caught blocking? Yeah. I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. Just here to support Aaron O in the cheeky general. Shit like that. Shit like that. On the topic, like submission is natural. Take chromosomes. The Y and X chromosomes in the males remain always active. In females one x chromosome turns off meaning even one x submits look it up wow. 
Shout out to Harambe Jack, man, for the honey ball. Hope all is well. Damn. Oh, I got one more. I am what I am with the final says. I think some dudes confuse authority with influence. God gave Adam dominion over all things, but women have influence over their husbands. Hmm. They got so much that they put laws in place that you can't enact your authority. I influence, I influence oh, yeah. my husband to mortgage our whole life on, on gambling. And I influence him to do it, and now we homeless. What a good influencer I am. Jesus Christ, who did that? Damn it. <laughs> right, everything was good until he started, he said that those decisions started going wrong, right? He ain't making no decisions right no more. So, <laughs> well, so, so if submission is this fluid, is this conditional, if we can't enforce it, <laughs> how can this be something we require? Which is why they, which is why most men can't require it because most men, most men don't meet the criteria that is set by the people that actually have authority. It's just like, why can't most men get women? It's a question that most men have been trying to figure out. You don't even understand that. No. Why know. most men I'd say can't get is right women? on that point. He's right. Okay. He's right. You can make sound arguments all the way around that men are the ones submitting to women. You can make sound and arguments around it. You really, really, it, it is really, really, really true. Like, it's not you guys think that I'm doing this just to be con me. You guys think that me and Aaron, right? Because GBG has made a rep, has a reputation now of being just whatever y'all want to call us, but we think about what we're talking about from every angle. I've tried to think about how this works. Oh, what's up, team fatty? I've tried <laughs> to think about how this works, and it doesn't. When it comes down to it in this society, it's not that I'm trying to be um, pessimistic or weak. I'm just acknowledging the reality of this from every level, from a philosophical level, from a biological, social level, and even political. We have no authority and it was given away and we can't get it back because anything that we try to do is going to be considered regressive and is going to be considered inhumane, wrong on every Western level. And it starts with men. It starts with men giving this away. And the funny thing is, as much as we like, as much as we like to say men are on top, that's not true. What do you call the people that tell you to do everything and then you go do? Mm -hmm. All right. So I agree with every single thing you said, except one part. You said we can never get it back. Man, this shit has already happened countless times. So in, in order to say, so we gave away leadership to women. We basically created an egalitarian society where they can make decisions and they can lead to everybody. I just want to ask, do women actually want to lead? Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. no. Yes, they do. This is a myth. Y'all keep trying Moving to it. They keep okay. All right. All right. Let's female nature, bro. Female nature. No, they do yeah. not. Lead. Do women, do women want to lead Cali? They want to lead when it comes to all the good stuff, but none of the bad stuff. Right. Overall, overall, right. Yes and no. Like everything. Like everything? No. They want power, but not the responsibility. They want the authority without any um, without any risk or blame. They exactly. want to be able to construct and be the captain of the ship but they don't, they want to be the first person in the lifeboat. I'm a woman mm -hmm. now. Wait, wait, yeah. I'm a woman now. Now treat me like a lady. When every, all, all aspects of life, I'm in charge. You do what I say. But when the gunshots ring out, wait a minute, where's my bodyguard? Run and protect me. Now I'm a woman. Now in this instance, when the, when, when life happens, but in this artificial world of, of a woman being so comfortable, she wants power and authority, but she doesn't want responsibility or blame. Y'all you, you, given circumstances where there's life at risk and stuff like that. I could show you a bunch of men that be like, you the leader right now. I'm going to live and let you die for me. You and, and so, so Aaron, Aaron, Aaron even to that point, Hold Aaron. on, y'all. Uh, Josh, Josh, Josh Bay, can you get on camera? Um, you can put it in the back chat. I need it. You got to get on camera real quick. 
So, we can bring so you even to that point, Aaron, <clears throat> we don't know if women want to lead without the help of men or if they even can. What does that mean? They so if if your uh if your stance is that women want to lead, do they want to lead? Can they lead without our help? Because I don't think I don't think that any of them will stay in the positions that That's they're in without a man backing them up. I, 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 I highly do women want to lead. Now you're right. speaking to capabilities. No, I'm so, I'm 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 basically saying it in totality. When you add the pressure the blame and everything that comes with true leadership leadership is not a privilege it's a fucking burden leadership role too no, no but it's that besides that before we even get to that point why are we dismissing Callie answering the question we're not dismissing her answering the question what we're, we, we have to do is already we acknowledge that what she's saying <laughs> the problem isn't that it, the problem isn't um that women don't want to lead, they want to do it conditionally. And we already, we've already explored this idea of doing it conditionally. The real issue is that there's always going to be some man to say, I'll take on the parts they don't want to take on. That's my point. My point is this, which is why I keep saying House Husbands 2024 is we have to, somebody has to take the stand and go, no, y'all are going to take everything that comes with leadership. You want to know why I know they're going to this is always going to be a problem because there's always going to be some traditional ass man who thinks that masculinity and blah, blah, blah. And he's going to say, I'll take on the, the, the most burdenous part of this and you live the soft life. Because that's what you guys do every single time I bring this up. Instead of y'all going, you know what? Just let them do it. Y'all go, no, who's going to be the one to uphold society? Who's going to want to do all the hard things? Well, that well, I don't want to die, Chiki. So, uh, so yeah. Even, even and at the end of the day, that female die. nature is going to kick in like it always oh, I does. I got so, another. Men right. cannot want to afford die. to sit down as a social collective and say, girl, you got it. You guys are saying yeah, men can't yeah. do that, but it's happening now. Josh, bet I see no. you in a second. <clears throat> Women do not, but women did not build and sustain the infrastructure in which modern society is run today. Not one day, not one hour, not a minute, not tomorrow, not next week. What are you talking about? What do you What do you call men that have excluded themselves from society, dating, relationships, and other countries, and it's happening now in this country? What do you call that? Okay, that's. I think that's a movement called Black Pill, where they're giving up on modern oh, dating because of oh, such and such. Like that's that's a community of people. It's called involuntary. They're not doing it because they want to. They're doing it because that they don't know what else to do. They don't know how to adjust to this this social change. I understand that, but that's so, always been. With, but wait, wait, that's always been with us. That's not always new. been. The, that's not new. Yeah, that's not new. To it's this degree, been. to this degree, how how many women? How many women leaders when it comes to? When it comes to Fortune 500 companies or anything where women are out earning men, when has this ever happened in history besides now? No, it's never. I can't say it's never happened. We're, yeah, we're, I, I, we're, but I understand your point. What, what, what's your okay? But what's your point though? Go. Let me concede that. But what's your go ahead? Go with your point though. What is this? You are stuck in a in a position in a viewpoint, not realizing that history is being made right now as we speak. And this generation of young men have to deal with the consequences of 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 history. Right, this is brand new. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know anything right now because it's new. It's never happened before. You all keep acting as if it's, it's we're going to restart and we get bombed tomorrow and get bombed back to the Stone Age. We'll go right back. But what's okay. the chance of that happening? Oh, well, I know what you mean. Okay, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. We're, we keep doing this thing where we like to theorize reality and it's actually in our face and nobody's paying attention to that because y'all all over 35 and y'all all married and y'all already got what y'all want. Okay. I will say, I will okay. say uh, even this um, even this construct that we've created like to your point, this particular version has never happened before. Women at work in mass. There are more women. People don't even know this. There are more women in the workforce than there are men because of the jail population right the most people in in jail are men but now we've that, that they are able to work because of the technological advancement that we have made but those same technological advancements are about to replace them too so it's going to be short-lived we are going to go back to the way things work no the technological back, advance bro. that makes the most impact would be the factory jobs in which men primarily hold 
All right. So let me let me ask you this. This is how I've done this oh, calculation my in my head. Arguing. All right. This is how I've done the calculation. There are only four real professions on it. <clears throat> only four. Builder, farmer, Hunter. healer, warrior. Those are the only four real professions. Every everything else is made up. Everything else is made up. Okay. Oh, men do three of the real professions. Women do one in mass. So that means that the only people working when this whole AI shit goes are the builders, the warriors, and the farmers. The women are, can be the, that are doctors and shit. Yeah, they'll be working. Everybody else can be replaced. Everybody else. Wait. Well, my question is this. I got Josh Bed in the back. I got to let me see real quick. Let's see who they want me to drop. All right. So, uh, my, I, I, what are we arguing though? <clears throat> the women overwhelmingly are saying that they don't want to leave. They want to leave when it's convenient, which we acknowledged. And so, why would we concede the fact that they don't? We why would we concede the point? Okay, let them do it. They don't want to do it, and they've already said it. Mm-hmm. Okay, they want to conditionally do it. So why would I? Le- why would I let it fail? Easy that makes ass. no sense. Men don't want to lead either. <clears throat> Unless it's unless it's easy, convenient, they they don't want to do it either. The very few men, which we identify as like the leaders beyond the relationship leaders, very few leader of those of leaders. leaders is for a reason. Why you think we keep saying the black community ain't had a real leader in a long time? Because these men ain't falling out the sky. Men don't want to lead either, unless it's the easiest situation. And if you even put it to an argument, and we have to pull back because we're, we're kind of gauging the younger generation because the old people, y'all dead. Y'all dying off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your pensions is almost coming up. You're leaving that money by whether you're not. Not y'all. You look at the kids. They say the children are the future for a reason. These young bucks are saying, we don't do these marriages. What y'all talking about? Oh, nah, we, we don't do that. We don't know. We, we quit. Nope. Leading for what? They don't listen. It's not it's not happening. The men don't want to do it either in general. They don't. It's, a, it's, it's a lot of That's not true. What you, of course it's, it's not true. Context. It's a lot of context of what you're saying because because of during the time that men were leading in the black community is because of drugs and other stuff that came and took the men out of the the household. It's not that men did not want it to leave. They were taken away from the household. So it's a lot (laughs) of contact to what you're saying. Okay, Ham, let me me ask you. Just to go to your... Hey, wait, wait, please. Hold on, let me see. Oh, no, because Sammy hasn't been able to go. My Jesus, pals, give me two I, seconds, I, all right? Drop off. I'm going to bring you right back. Huh? I'll, I'll drop off. You about to leave? Uh, if you want to put somebody else, I'll drop off for a little bit, and then I'll come back on. All right, I'll bring you right back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Josh, you there? Josh, you there? Let me see. Hold on one second. I want to make sure she good, because I ain't going to lose her. Can you hear me? She was just on camera too. Josh Bag, can you hear me? Go ahead, Chiki. How many times have you heard women say we want traditional men back? The the listeners? The women? You said, you said women have already said they don't want to be leaders. Have you yeah. heard them say we want traditional men? No, uh, no, not really. I've heard it. I've heard oh. it. But just I've being, heard it. I hear it. I hear it online and offline. In turn, in terms of conducting panels, living out here in this earth, um, it's not prevalent. Okay, so if if that's the case, and we've already established that everything with women is based on conditionality and comfortability, mm-hmm. why then would I say to myself? that they don't want to be leaders they don't want to be the leaders that in the way we want them to be leaders or they that we view leadership they do want to be leaders they want to be leaders that sit in the back and don't have to handle those things and as long as men continue to say i will drive the car they're going to want that position instead what young men have been saying is we're not even getting in the car okay and women, and women understand and they feel that so they don't want to be the leaders in the way that men have traditionally said, we'll take all the bullshit and y'all just do. With... Men have men have agreed that this is how things are going to work for a long time. It is only now that men are saying we're not doing it in that way. 
and women are seeing that question so you're saying the happy wife happy life generation right was yes. was were those women so those women by nature of happy wife are in charge right but they the man is but the yes. man is taking the brunt of the responsibilities in those situations yes. so the 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 facade is that he's the leader but but he living happy white happy life so he dying earlier he working harder he paying all the bills okay i see what you're saying so now now and what has been happening is men younger men have been looking at that situation with a critical eye and said mm -hmm. no <clears throat> you saying he's the leader but really you're pulling all the strings so how about this i'm not getting my strings pulled all i'm going to do is have sex with you whenever i can and however i want to and then once that's over it's done because with marriage comes those strings so while women are saying they don't want to be leaders they still want to pull the strings in essence if you pull the strings what does that make you in charge hey, Gigi. it makes you a leader even if you don't want to acknowledge it as such it makes you a leader in the way you find comfortable for you got you so they want to call the shots but they don't want what it takes right so what it is is the word we getting caught up on the word leader when the truth yeah. is as long as they can pull the string they can give a fuck what it look like it, it, that's yeah. the point and that's the thing every time we're using these words that we think we agree on on by definition i'm thinking because it, it sometimes it differs mm -hmm. right, which is why it's complicated i'm thinking of the overall purpose of how this has been working women have been controlling these things so heavily and in and, and such a very discreet way that men have not even questioned on a philosophical level who's really in control mm -hmm. the only time the only time women have hated their existence as quote unquote leader is when they get beat over the head because nobody likes that but when mm -hmm. you take away that 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 consequence and you start taking away financial consequences and other consequences and you can now start to demonize the people who are trying to enact them on a social level and also by law You've pulled every string you can pull and you've just become a god amongst men. Because you know what men will do? They'll shame you if you don't get them. If you don't yeah, get the but, cheeks. But right? if you don't get woman. Cheeky, do you think that's just the... Oh, wait, Trigger Mike, hold on now. He said a whole lot. Is it fair yeah, that he we... Did. That we pause, take it all in for a second. I no, I took uh, it in. I took it in. Cause I'm no, cause I, I'm the smartest one up here. I can tell by 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 the way. Right, we gonna let that shit slide first so, though. No, just based on how I walk, I figure I'm the smart. So <laughs> I want to make sure we consume that pause. And let me read these super chats because he said a whole lot. And I answered a few questions that also like, damn, okay, I can see where you're coming from. Let me just read these super chats and then we'll, we'll get back to it. 